So suppose that Alice has computed RSA public keys of n equals 31, 27, uh, e equals 3, and then she has her private key, d equals 20, 11. Uh, and the really important idea here of RSA is that if we take any number, uh, any number at all, and raise it to the e times d mod n, that will get our message back out. And so the encryption step is this part here, raising the message to the encryption key, mod 3127, and then the decryption step comes from raising that result to the private key. And again, the security here lies in the difficulty of finding these values, e and d, if all you know is n and e. There's no known way to do that. So let's see what would happen with the message 50. So to encrypt uh, the message, Bob would take the number 50, uh, and he has Alice's public key. So he's gonna take 50 to the power of the encryption key and calculate 50 to the third mod 3127. Uh, and he's probably gonna need a little bit of a calculational help for this, uh, but it turns out that this number is 3047. So then to decrypt, so this is the message that Bob then sends to Alice. So Alice then can decrypt it by raising this 3047 to the power of her decryption key, mod n. Uh, and again, she's gonna need some calculational help, some technology help here, because this is not something that we can compute by hand or on a basic calculator without some tricks. Uh, and this turns out to be 50, right? And again, the whole idea here is it's based on E and D being picked so that 50 to the third to the 2011 gets you back to the original message. But again, even if somebody, uh, has the public keys, there's no easy way for them to find the private key from them.